I created my own club in FIFA, got them promoted in their very first season of existence. But now that we're in the FL League 1, life ain't all that easy. I was expecting to get direct promotion into the championship, but we're dead, not in a good spot. Just take a look at some of the L's we were taking. Oh no, we might concede another one. What is happening? Oh, 89th minute, we've given them a chance and they've actually scored. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. We're going to concede now. We do. And to make things worse, we've also got injured issues. Raul Lopez out for a few months. We've got Dara Burns injured as well. Even our new signing, Patterson. These are crucial players. But you guys know S2GFC does not give up. We'll fight through this situation and hopefully by the end of this episode we will be in a promotion spot. Last episode, you guys know we signed the world's best talent. Is he the world's best talent? I don't know, but he's good. But so far, Alejandro Garnacho has not really thrived at all. He's got a couple of assists, but yet to score. You'd expect a player of Premier League quality to do a bit more. And honestly, if he keeps this up, I could see Man United recalling Alejandro Garnacho. I know we've got a buy option on him. The thing is, if Man United feel that, you know, we're not developing him well enough, they can literally just recall him. And then we're modded. So I hope Garnacho can step up and continue his development. With all the injuries, this is our team. Joe Bellingham is going to need to step up big time. Iñaki Jimenez getting more chances on the right and Roe as well. So let's do it. Here we go. Time to play Sunderland. Oh, here we go with Max Holmes. He's just so good. Max Holmes is, is nope. genuinely insane. We deserve to go there. How did the keeper save that? Oh, my God. We've got a penalty in the 85th minute. The pressure. Oh, my God. We score this. We're basically taking home all three points. I'm thinking, who do I trust? It's got to be Max Holmes. I trust him with my life. Max Holmes, you got to score this penalty. Max Holmes, I'm going left. Oh, it's... What? How did he miss that? That's got to hurt. Guys, guys, I can't believe this. No, we can't end up losing yet. We can't end up losing. We cannot end up losing now. McGinty saves us at least. It's going to be a point shared. How on earth did we not win this game? Max Holmes. This was probably the worst performance he's ever had in his life. You know what? I'm trying to forget that game. We're heading into our next one and we need to win. We need to get results. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We've been opened up and we concede. Bro, what is our form right now? All we do is lose. Easy. No, not again. Two headers. Uh, I think the first one was not a header, but I don't remember. But regardless, what are we doing here? In the 80th minute, Garnacho going to release it for Holmesy. What? How did we not end up scoring there? That's Max Holmes' worst ever miss. We might still have a chance here. Looking now for Iñaki Jimenez, who's trying his best. No, 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 no. We end up losing. What are we actually doing here? We're still 10th in the FL League 1, but if we don't start winning, we're not even going to be in the conversation for promotion. Honestly, boys, the injuries are really hurting us. Raul Lopez, thankfully, will be back within the next three weeks, and we need him. Dara Burns, about five weeks. Patterson, thankfully, in like six days, he should recover. We need these guys, man, honestly. I can't lie, we'll be in deep trouble if we don't win this game. Bernardo, is he finally going to step up for us going for goal off the crossbar i swear our luck in this episode and good nachos luck it's just not been it no this means danger Chiellini does so well there that's what we want to see from him come on no we're gonna concede how have they missed that that's a relief go on jimenez we haven't seen much from him we need our spanish messi to deliver here looks for berry Barry finds a bit of space. It falls for Tyler on the volley. What a goal. We needed something special. And it was a special strike from David Tyler. 1-0 up. Come on. No, this is bad. What a save, McGinty. We needed that. Going to just release a long ball for Max Holmes in hopes he gets on the end of it. And so far, he's done really well. Oh, he holds on to it. Finds Garnacho. Go on. Garnacho. It's a good delivery for David Tyler. The header is brilliant, but the keeper saves. Oh, this is a bit scary, but I do not want to concede. I got to give credit to Chiellini. At this age, he's still really, really good. Oh, Max Holmes has just fought through there. It's just sheer desire, but the finish... Max Holmes, I think he's not got his finishing boots on in this one. No, no, no. We can't concede. We cannot concede. That was so close to going in. No, Chiellini have made a mistake, but Chiellini has recovered. Oh my god, this has been Killini's best performance, I think, in this series so far. Let's not concede now in the 90th minute, please. 
I will genuinely start crying if we do. Ibsen Rossi saves us. Clear the ball away. Can we clear it away? It's done. That's an important win that we need to try and turn our season around. How would you look at that just after the game? Chiellini and Ibsen Rossi chilling in the beach, enjoying life. Fair enough. They, they were the best players of our team in that last game. Fair enough. We need to keep our momentum going, guys. We now play Birmingham City at the Javier Presa Arena. Let's get a win. Max Holmes looking really nice. It's a lovely ball. Back inside for David Tyler. And that's a lovely finish. That is a lovely finish from Tyler. 1-0 up. Bellingham against this former club. I would have loved to see him score there. Got Nacho now. Inside for Tyler. Oh, we we kind of mess up that attack. Oh, Berry gets it. Berry gets it. Edge of the box. Oh, that was a good attempt. Jimenez looking for Tyler. Back for Jimenez. This is some really nice football. Would love to see him score. Oh, that is brilliant from the Spanish magician. Jimenez scores a beautiful goal. That should get us the win in this one against Birmingham. We're back in business getting results. Come on. And just like that, with that win, we're back in the mix at least. Eighth in the league. Only like two points off being in the top four. I don't think we can win the league, but we can certainly get ourselves into the playoffs. It's time to get into a press conference. Sid, I think you should sign a new fullback. With Emmer and Patterson always on international duty, you need a workhorse ready to fill in. That's a good shout. Junior Chamado at fullback would be perfect. Strong, quick, 18 years old, plenty of room to grow. He could also become a CDM or a centre-back. Ooh, this is, this is interesting. By the way, we're already in December, approaching January, so I'm not surprised transfer suggestions have been coming in. And we have still, like, decent money for an EFL League One club. About a couple of milli, so yeah. But about Junior Chamado, I've taken a look and he does look good. Good pace. 64 rated. The problem is we already have Malcolm Rowe and I do like him as backup. But oh, I just realized my boy Rowe is, is 27 years old. I legit thought he was a youngster. You're not wrong, dude. We probably need to sign a player like Junior Chamado. And I think we will. I like this suggestion a lot. He's going to be put on the short list. And come the transfer window, we will go in attack mode and try and sign this kid. You're right. This looks like a really solid option. A 19 year old, 64 rated lot of room to grow. We can't go wrong with this. Next up, I think you should look to sign Brian Oko. He's a young centre-back. Good experience. Playing at a high level in the Champions League. Great pace and looks like a good option for centre-back. Yeah, you're not wrong. Centre-back is where we do need a bit of reinforcements because imagine one of Ibsen Rossi or Chiellini gets injured. We've only got Williams as a replacement of Barrett and honestly with their ages and everything, they're, they're clearly not good enough. I just looked at some of Oko's stats and boy does he look incredible with that pace and everything. He'll be insane if we do end up signing him. But the issue is, again, he's valued at two and a half million. We're going to have to do like a loan to buy thing to get him. But okay, it's possible. We still have all the money in the world to make all of this happen. We'll see. We'll see in January. It should be exciting. You should focus on domestic cup competitions such as the FA Cup because it can give you funds for the next season. More than the funds, I'm looking at the prestige. Guys, the FA Cup's an historic competition and talking about it right now, we're now participating in round two of the FA Cup. And this season, I want to take it seriously. The good thing is, Patterson is back from his injury, so he gets right into the starting 11. We're still waiting on Lopez and Burns. Our first ever FA Cup game. I'm excited. Can you imagine if we go on a cup run or something? Oh my god, would that be epic, but hey, it all begins here. Here we go with Jimenez. Oh, looking inside for Tyler, and our first ever goal in FA Cup history. S2GFC has scored in one of the oldest club competitions of all time, and it's David Tyler. What a man. This episode has been in a different league. Oh, we might concede, and that's the FA Cup for you. Never an easy game. It's 1-1. Garnacho, if there's ever a game he'd want to perform, it's this. The world is watching the FA Cup. Garnacho dragging it wide for Jimenez. Cutting inside. Jimenez. Ah, deflection. Jimenez is really coming into his own. Corner for us and not the best of deliveries, but it almost worked. Got corner for Ganacho. If he can curl this one in, it'll be special. He went for it. Not too bad. Jimenez. Oh, that's a beautiful ball for Max Holmes, who didn't really time his run all that well. But we have a chance now with Ganacho laying it off for Tyler. It's a simple finish. And we get our lead back in this one. There goes Patterson. He's arrived back in literally the perfect game for us as Tyler's through on goal. Couldn't get another one. It's a David Tyler hat-trick in the FA Cup. That sends us through 
basically to the next round. Come on, Patterson, I see you there. Max Holmes managed to add another goal, but 4-1 in our first ever FA Cup game. We'll take that. Meanwhile, guys, I've realized there's a big problem at this club. A lot of players' contracts are expiring, including the likes of Callum Berry, who's finally gone up to a 65 overall. Tyler Smith as well. Peters, Gillis, a lot of players. I want to try and renew their contracts at the same wages or at least close to that. So hopefully we'll be successful. We're getting Gillis a renewal. The same thing with Peters as well. French too. These guys, I don't know what they'll do in the future because they're pretty average, but still we're renewing their deals. Same with, of course, Tyler Smith. Barrett as well. Pretty smooth there. We'll, we'll renew Malcolm Rowe. We're not really giving wage bumps to anyone. So renewing the contracts was simple. But the big one is Callum Berry, our club captain. He deserves a better contract. So here is my self in game negotiating with Callum Berry. Important squad role for him. I trust you, Berry. Now 25. Getting close to his prime. We'll give him a three year extension, which he's willing to lock in. And I think he deserves to earn more than the others, you know. So £4,000 per week for Callum. He's willing to accept that. We've renewed his contract. Come on. Let's now smash through some more EFL League One games and, of course, move up the table. Go on, Jimenez. Go on. This is looking nice. My man sees Garnacho. Oh, how is Garnacho missing all of this? Honestly, guys, Garnacho has had a bit of a shocker here in, of course, EFL League One. It's just not working for him. I don't know, because he's Argentine. He's, he's kind of struggling to adapt here. But here he is again on the ball. It's just not working yeah. for him. Just, just look at that. We have a chance to score with this penalty. Max Holmes, please score this. Easy. Oh, my God. That was so close to hitting the post, but we take it. Okay, now Max Holmes has been sent completely through on goal. Yeah, he goes, has to score this. Of course he does. That's this game sorted. Just after that game, I get a message from Alejandro Garnacho. Hey, boss, I'm struggling to adapt here. I really feel like I made a mistake joining this club. Nothing wrong with the club. It just feels like I, I don't belong here. Wow, I think Garnacho has just dropped a bombshell on us. With only three assists, like two assists in League One, zero goals. I don't know what to do with him. Like, like I don't want to send him back to Man United, but that might be the best thing to do because he's he's unhappy but what about the investment we've made in him we've got a buy option that's a steal on garnacho i don't get this like how are we in this situation of course news like this had to get leaked to the media so i had to put out a tweet just to say you know what you know basically just lying like that's what clubs do you know when all such news happens the rumors about garnacho being unhappy and wanting to go back to man united are simply not true fake news to destabilize the club i'm capping but we gotta do it we've got a few more games and if garnacho you can maybe score in some of these games and just just find his feet here maybe i think we'll we'll end up keeping him very looking for tyler he's been in great form and could get another goal bro you can't stop him you cannot stop our number 10 david tyler this has been his episode joe bellingham lovely ball out wide for jimenez that's a really good shimmy that he's just done. Jimenez chance to score off the post. That's so unlucky. Berry with a lovely release for Garnacho. This is his chance. Alejandro Garnacho. And it's off the bar. It's just not working. Let me just put it that way. We still have a chance to score. We don't end up scoring. And now we've got a penalty. And let's see what happens here. They score. Well, they've got a penalty. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Holmes. Holmes. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff to put us back into the lead. Max Holmes gets it done. Yo, I can't lie. Garnacho has just been hooked. Palmer has been brought on. Bro, at, at this rate, I think Man United are just going to recall him. I really think so. Jimenez turns, shoots, almost scores. We'll take the win. We'll take the win. But I'm sure the decisions with Garnacho is going to cause controversy. At least a bit of good news. Dara Burns is now back from his injury. The good thing is, Jimenez, you have outshined. Like, what a player. Honestly. Uh, Jimenez Jimenez is going to be a part of this team for a long, long time, I feel. Oh, Raul Lopez is back from his injury too. Let's put him in there for Bellingham. And Bellingham can go on the bench. Patterson as well can go here in the starting 11. Our team has come back now. Let's go. Meanwhile, we're heading into our next game against Bristol Rovers, where we can see the penalty. McGinty, we, we, we need you. We need you to make a save here. Easy. Ah. It's so good to see our stars back in action. Raul Lopez finding Dara Burns here. We're on the charge. Dara Burns looking for Garnacho. All the controversy. Can he actually deliver here? Garnacho. Bro, it's not working out for him. I'm sorry. It just isn't working out for him. We have a chance here. No, we don't. Go on, Berry. Go on, Berry. Good ball in for Tyler. And of course, a simple volley from Tyler. Berry does really well in that instance. We're back in this. Tyler once again. 1v1. 
Massive chance to score. And of course, Tyler does not mess up. Really good finish. We'll take that win, guys. We'll take that win. But once again, Garnacho, I feel like he's just letting the team down. You know what? For this next game, I think I'm going to bench Garnacho. It's it's not working. He needs to get his head space right, whether he wants to stay at the club or move on. Until then, I think, yeah, I'm starting a player I trust. Oh, we're sending Max Holmes through and it's Jimenez with the pass. Max Holmes should score this. He's used to finishing chances like that. No problem. Another one here for Berry. Could look for a pass for Holmesy. It's a good ball in. Holmes still has it. Has to play it out right for Burns. What can he do? Dara Burns calling it. Oh, that would have been phenomenal. Oh, Jimenez is on real in this position now to end this game. Jimenez, easy finish. It's awesome to see this kid score. Come from the academy and he delivers. We're never given the chance. That's another solid win that we've picked up. Our form towards the end of December. Oh, brilliant. Would you look at that? Halfway through the season, the comeback of a lifetime. Third in the league. And now we're going to be in the transfer though, which means we can still improve this team, which I'm excited for. But just as things were going well for us, we get a mail from Manchester United. They're basically saying that Garnacho is not a good fit, and they basically want him back. But because we've got a buy option on him, they know that they're not in a good spot, and we've got a first choice over him. So they're willing to pay us $4 million in compensation for Garnacho's behavior and not adapting to the club. That's, yeah, it sometimes doesn't work out in football. I thought Garnacho was going to be the poster boy, the man to sell the shirts, the jerseys, the endorsements, and the superstar. But it's a loan deal that didn't work out, and he's, he's going back now. This is how we end the episode with Garnacho on his way back to Manchester United. I, I, I seriously can't believe this has happened, but that's it for the episode. We'll see where we go from here.